we got her all set up for the rains came anyway. It looks good. Nice and tight. All right, let's get to work on the rain. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm trying to beat the rains, so I'm hurrying up. You can see the sky up there. I'll get you shot of that later. I got some new swag. I got a new mattress for this tent right there. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick look at that. <laughs> it's upside down, but it is a Lost Horizon four and a half inch thick air mattress. It's a double wide. And as you can see, it fits perfectly on the floor of this thing. Absolutely perfectly. Wow, that's going to change a lot of stuff. I also went and got myself a thing brand new, never even opened it yet. Oversized sleeping bag, double wide. I toss and turn all the time, and the single sleeping bag is getting old. It's from Teton, Teton Sports. It's the big one. I wanted something comfortable, and since I toss and turn constantly, <laughs> this is the way to go. Let's have a look at it. I, like I said, I've never even opened it. The same with that airsoft mattress. I never opened that either. So we're trying it all right out here in the field. Oh, it's beautiful. I like the bag. I didn't even know it came with a bag. All right. Straps attach right to it, I take it. Yep, they sure do. Right. Let's get that in there. Open it up and have a look. Says it's a uh, 20 degree bag. And if I did my math right, it should fit perfectly. like that it does outstanding oh that's amazing perfect size that is absolutely perfect I think we'll break that in brand new love it Worked out real nice. You all know I don't go nowhere without the chair. <laughs> chair, of course, if you don't know, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, you know your channel. It's made by Blue, B L U U. Hi, back. This is my favorite chair. Yes. <laughs> now you know why it's my favorite chair. <laughs> Get a table set up. This course is our one tigress chair or table. This is the table here. Luke over at uh, the Outdoor Gear Review did a review on this, and uh, 
he highly recommended it. I bought it. I love it. Absolutely love it. I watch his channel a lot. I recommend him big time, especially if you're looking for new gear and you don't want to go out the expense and have it not worth a damn. And he'll tell you straight. <laughs> So I bought it, tried it, and loved it. All right, we should get the right side. First time I put it together, did it upside down. <laughs> Yeah, it's been threatening to rain all day. We've had temps in the high 90s, 80s, oh, just hot. So, every time you get that kind of heat, you know you're gonna get pop-up storms, always, always. is perfect and of course we got our little bag that hangs underneath yes we do there we go the logos the logos that's why i always do it Absolutely amazing. I love this little table. Really tough, heavy duty. All right. <laughs> now that we got camp all set up. Ooh, nice. Time for a nice cold Coors Light. Mm. It's the best beer there is. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Cheers, my friends. It is so hot. Oh, it has been so hot this last week. I finally got the, uh, uh, 
kayak up there with the canoe. I'm pretty happy about that. That turned out really well. The rack didn't work. I, I kind of thought it might not with the Hobie because the Hobie is so wide and so thick. I went to put it on there, the rack, and it just wouldn't fit in there good enough. That is why I always have a second plan. That's why I made the rack so big. Because now I just set it on, strap it down. As you can see, I got four or five inches on one side, three, four on the other. More than enough room. It worked. That is why I do that because you just never know. The Hobie rack is, it has to be really monster. Some things are big. That's a paddle drive. So that thing is a big kayak. I love my canoe and I use it constantly. That's mine. The bear, that's her kayak. She always wanted one of those. Me, I've always been a big fan of, you know, the canoe. That's all I care about. <laughs> and I finally got mine and she got her kayak. You're talking a difference. Let's see, 3,900 is what that canoe goes for. New, I, I picked up absolutely dirt cheap from some neighbors down in Wisconsin. And she paid $3,600 for that kayak. Yeah, you put scratch on that, oof, yeah, she'll have a fit. <laughs> I've been hearing rumblings of thunder. Oh, I think there's gonna be some thunder. Maybe a little rain, which is good, cool it off a little bit. It's just been so hot, but that's all right. Uh, one day off, boom, here I am. I uh, got a little bit of a late start, but that's gonna happen. I gotta get some sleep, as you all know. I don't do this full time, I work full time. So, and in the health field, I had to work a split weekend last weekend for the holidays. I only had one day off then too, and I finished up the rack. But uh, yeah, we're ready. Everything is set. I do have a big canoe trip coming up this next, let's see, I gotta work. I worked, <laughs> you're gonna love this schedule. It's healthcare. I worked four, one off because of the holidays, split weekend. I worked four, one off, that's today, and I refuse to be denied a camp. I'm tired of that. I don't care about the <laughs> work is work, but the, I need my time out, especially in healthcare. If you work in it, you know, you totally understand. Uh, now I go back for three. I'm off for another one, which I'm going to try and pull a camp. I can't promise you on that one. But then I work four for finally two off. It took me a whole month to get two days off in a row. That's how it works in healthcare you don't get a lot of time and I work nights so I have to get some sleep here and there uh yeah we're out here I'm gonna go up to Craig Lake State Park uh got a site already reserved because you have to reserve sites there now the DNR and the park service and all them they had to cut their way in to Craig Lake State to the park to get back to Craig Lake they had to cut their way in there were so many trees down so they thought maybe they wouldn't have it done in time but they just got it done so I'm covered there I already got the site paid for I want to go that's going to be a two-nighter. I'll probably bust it into two segments because the fish in there is supposed to be phenomenal. I uh, hope I don't hook into any muskies. I don't want to be drug around a lake for a couple of days. That would suck it. be a great video, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I got a whole bunch of new gear. Uh, I got more new gear coming. I got the pillows for this uh, Teton double white sleeping bag coming. Uh, I thought they'd be in by now. Uh, Amazon said no, not until tomorrow. So they'll be in tomorrow. I also have a couple trail cams coming which I want to use on them back adventures like Craig Lake. Then we'll be in in time. I also have perimeter alarms. These I got some really cool gear guys coming up for the, for the channel here. It's going to be fun. We're going to test them out. They take a 209 primer, they pop. That's just to let me know when the bears are around because when you're back in the sticks that far and this time of year, bears are still hungry yet. You know, they ain't uh, got their fill yet. So we're going to try them new perimeter alarms that... Uh, game quarters all that. oh man i got all kinds of crap coming but yeah i love this sleeping bag so far I'll, I'll let you know in the morning how that turns out but uh i like that because i can roll i toss and turn that mat is four inches thick it's not something i could take like say in a canoe trip or something like that either one of these it's just too bulky too big so i'll keep my other gear for that but uh yeah i'm very excited as you can tell to get out here and try some of this i didn't want to wait until the pillows and everything come in and now no i'll get out there now uh the bear's going to drop off the, my pillows from the camper. I love those things. And uh, I'm going to throw them in here for the night until my pillows come in. I'm going to test them out and see how I like those. Uh, another one that the outdoor gear review did, old Luke there, the uh, pillows that matches. He did in the review, and he just loves it. He loves it. So I'm going to, I, I bought two. Thanks, Luke. Uh, yeah, we're going to try them out. Like I said, bunch of new gear, bunch of new gear. And we're going to try it all out. Oh, now we're going to relax. See what this storm does. It gets really popping. I'll film that too.
I love sand. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's rumbling in the background. The skies are pretty dark. So, yeah, I'm going to sit down right now, relax, stay here, have a few beers, wait for the storm, kick back in my beautiful chair. <sighs> you just breathe. <laughs> Get back to eating a walk. <laughs> My wogan mug. I also got a backpack coming too. I forgot to tell you about that. Uh, I've been wanting one of these forever. Almost $400. It's the Slumberjack 2.0. Man, I've been wanting that one bad. It's perfect for hunting, and I might actually hunt this year. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but if I do, that thing has where you can strap your gun to it. And it goes up over the top. I mean, that's, that's a nice pack. It's a very nice pack. Expandable. It's got a little breakaway pack in case you want to just go do a little trail walking or something like that it's a nice pack can't wait for that to come in that should be in any day too i did get a whole bunch of new gear what else am i gonna do when i'm at dollar downtime and i'm at work constantly so i decided well why not buy some gear i can afford it now now's the time to do it because same times are probably pretty tough where you're at too mm. there hasn't been a lot of campers this year like there usually is usually this place is solid booked it's not i any site I wanted pretty much uh I have neighbors and they're quiet and uh there are a few people out here there are showers here I was asked that one time before at Wabick State Park uh Fortune Lakes it's just down the hill piece there but uh yeah I was asked that showers and I said no because I, I never use that stuff when I had the trailer out here uh I never really used them but yeah there are showers here and the bathrooms are very clean <laughs> you can eat off the floors uh very nice it's a very nice place yeah, I I got so much new gear. I wish I could just break it all out and show you, but I got it all spread out. I was putting the winter gear away again. I don't know if you heard that. That's thunder. You know how much I love storms. <laughs> My daughter and I both love storms. Rode out a Category 3 hurricane down in Texas City, Texas. That was, uh, yeah, that wasn't fun. I'd never do that again. But, uh, yeah, we rode that one out, and we love storms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good times. I'll tell you, that one was a pretty bad storm. But, uh, yeah, I really love storms. Love them. Uh, I just finally started to cool down a little bit. That's good. It's been super, super hot, like I told you. Oh. I finally get to relax. Get to unwind for a while. <laughs> Tripod. Use that to get the rain all knocked off. I'm all set now. Oh, it's so pretty. All the little lanterns got the fire going over. Yeah. That's oh, gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. You know I'm going to have a great night. We know it. As soon as the rain calms down enough, I'll pull that off there. Right now I'm using it and it lets the rain run off in every direction. I love that. Oh. Listen to that rain pitter pat. Oh. I hope it does that later when I'm sleeping. It's hit and miss sporadic. That's all hit and miss. Oh, it's a lot darker out here than this camera shows it, as always. I always tell you that because it's true. This thing is excellent about saving light. Oh, wow. What a beautiful night. Look at the little fireflies. Just tons of them. Beautiful.
trying to try out the new sleep system. All right, let me get tucked in here real quick. I'll see you in the morning for coffee. Good night, y'all. One of my friends. Oh, that new sleep system I got. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing and I love it. Man, that's all bad. <laughs> I rolled a toss and turn like I usually do and uh, yeah, that big sleeping bag never balled up in one side. You know, the zipper always chases you around. Oh, just perfect. Oh, just like a great big pillow bed. Oh, that's good and hot. Right. Well, that's a beautiful way to start it there. It is warm. It's warm out here. Very warm. Got a little rain water on this thing, so I'm gonna give it a little time to dry out. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a slow pack down today. A lot of sand, so I gotta do a lot of sweeping and cleaning and all that. I'm sure y'all don't want to watch that get filmed. <laughs> that takes hours to get it cleaned up. But I love a good camp. Oh, it was so beautiful last night. So warm. And it is very warm today. It's supposed to get up in the 90s, I believe, today. Ah, good day to be outside. Beautiful day for it. I do have to work tonight, so we will have to get back at least a decent time. But I'm not in a hurry. I think i got to be out here by 11. No big deal. That's easy to do. Got up at 6, so yeah, we should be able to pull that off quite easily. Even with all the sweeping and cleaning, once I get over there, I do it all on the tables all the time. You hardly ever see that, so I don't do it. I told you, my, you think my setups are meticulous. My teardowns are even worse. I like to be clean. I love everything nice and clean for the next camp, which I want to do on Monday. We'll see. Got another spot in mind. Should be able to do it. But the, the big weekend trip definitely is coming up after that. So that's the one I'm excited about the most. But I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I had to get out last night. Just had to do it. It's too warm. Too warm to be at the house, in the house, sleeping. I mean, no. I can do that right out here. And I stayed up late last night. I think I went to bed about, about 1, maybe one thirty, which is no big deal for me because I work nights. <laughs> Getting up at 6, oh, it's so natural for me because I'm a day person by nature. But Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm going to sit and enjoy my coffee. Listen to the sounds of nature. Well, there you have it, my friends. Ooh, I counted the hours it took me to tear down and clean up. Doing about three, three and a half hours, almost three and a half hours. <sighs> now I have a baseline with all the new gear about how long it's going to take me for tear downs. Setups. Yeah. No big deal. Less than what for the next guy. Uh, check it out. Another glorious camp. A few people pulled in. 
getting out of here just the right time now. <laughs> All right. See you on the next one. Love y'all. Be good. <laughs>